Hiya dudes, I meant to make this video forever ago, I never got around to it, but here is my way of creating custom spells using bullet IDs, and we're actually going to combine some, uh, several things into one just wicked cool spell. A note about online visibility, if I stay here in the ring city, it will be visible online. If I leave the ring city, go somewhere else, it will still be visible to me so long as I've activated it at least once in the ring city. That kind of loads it into my game memory or something like that. But it will not be visible to other people. So keep in mind when messing with bullet IDs, they're highly area dependent. So if you haven't seen Beginner's Guide to Modding Spells, go ahead and check that out. Once you learn that up, we can go to bullet IDs here, and we'll go to last spell highlighted. And if you take a look here, we only have one here. A lot of spells will only have one. If we want to combine and create mashups of crazy spells, which is what we're going to do, we have to find one that has more than one. One really good example is a lightning storm. And here we go. We don't actually have four to work with. Uh, it's only three, but this is where we put our bullet ID. We just move down. And while we're at it, I'll throw in some of those spears as well. Uh, but you'll notice there that this one changes with that one. So we only actually have three to work with here. You just have to experiment to see how many you can actually change on your chosen spell. Now, a lot of times when you try to steal boss spells, they don't actually do damage. So to take care of that, we'll just... So this one is obviously the actual fire breath. I like to extend the range. And we'll have to do our damage via effect IDs. This is a big percentage of health. This is something more reasonable. And sometimes if that doesn't work, you'll have to add a hit bullet ID, but we've already got one here, so it should technically be registering. Obviously that range is a bit much, but... And I just turned the other stuff off just so I could easily isolate the bullet I wanted, but you can put damage on the bullet of your choice. 
And I'll probably need to put damage on those spears as well. So, yep, it's that easy. Thanks for watching. Happy hacking and make some cool stuff. Okay, bye.